the Belarusian up against maybe his toughest opponent of the season thus far. You know, Ben, Alicia, I have a, I have a hard time liking Alicia, and you know why? And this sounds very mean, and it I actually don't really mean it that mean, but I have a hard time liking someone who named himself Alicia. <laughs> okay. You want to know why? Why? <laughs> Did you date someone named Alicia? No, worse. I've had like two sort of serious girlfriends in my life. One of them was called Alice, and the other one was called Alicia. Oh, uh, Alicia. And neither of them was very good. And if you mix like Alice and Alicia, it's like Alicia. <laughs> I have a very hard time liking someone with that name. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, this like brings back all the worst memories. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Alice wasn't that bad. I, I'm being a bit mean right now. But she was pretty bad. Oh, well, she's time. watching your cast right now. Yeah, she's she actually watches every like now and then. She misses you. She's like, oh, I want to get back with Roddy. She's gonna he get was the love of my life. Well, hey, I've been the love of many it's girls. It's like she's flown life. in. She's at the house waiting to surprise you right now. <laughs> you walk in, she's like, so, you don't <laughs> like me. My name brings back bad memories. <laughs> no, I was just kidding, of course. But I just thought it was funny. I mean, huh. what are the odds of that happening? Name the names of your two pre previous girlfriends, Ben, and think about <laughs> a StarCraft 2 player nickname who comes close. Jennifer. And? Um, man, I don't know that I've had many like steady girlfriends. Maybe you had a Lucy, and then you could have like Lucy, and then the fur of Jennifer, and you have like Lucifer, which is a common name for players. And I actually played a guy in North American Letter called Lucifer. And one of the best StarCraft 2 players of all time was called Lucifer, too. So if you would have ever dated a Lucy, that would have been the case. I've never dated a Lucy. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know a Lucy, you temporary date. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Select is our red Terran spawning in the right bottom side of this map. And EG stores and is our blue Terran spawning in the left bottom side of this map. <laughs> what is that about? I'm just trying to figure out where you were going with that joke. Intel Extreme Masters, Kiev. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Both players cutting <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh man. Uh, we have a refinery opening over here for Select. Before, Sorry for before anybody thinks badly of me, my girlfriend was there for that party. <laughs> yes, that's true. I think she well. sponsored that uh, that little adventure. Never mind. <laughs> 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 Both players opening up with a refinery ban, so we might actually <laughs> see a benchy <laughs> opening from either side. Uh, yep. Might be. Second refinery is going down for select right now. Stop being so off topic, Ben. Start focusing on the game. What are you talking be about? You did this to me. One. What? I just made like a swarm. I was like, story. what is he talking about? Oh. Uh, Lucy. <laughs> Man, uh, Lucy was a, a love figure in Ukraine, but many of the war uh, well, Warcraft and Starcraft pros. She's a <laughs> she's a inspiring actress. <laughs> <laughs> Command Center is going up for Torsi now as well, so um, it's not going to be anything super funky. Starport going down as well. Um, we see Select on Double Refinery too. Wait, he was already a Double Refinery. Sorry guys, and Torsi is only at one Refinery. Ben, you distracted me. I love what Torsi did over here, by the way. I you. Yeah, because okay. you haven't said anything for like the I two minutes and you're just grinning. Because eh? every time I open my mouth, I get myself deeper in the... Why? In the hole, man. You did nothing wrong. I just made a small fun reference regarding... Because you said Jennifer, so I just tried to make a name which sounds like Jennifer. Well, or what, something I could do with Jennifer, and then I thought of Lucy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Lucy. I remember Lucy. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> you crane like you very much. Oh, thank you, Lucy. I, uh, I'm if you come visit me, I make more money than in 10 <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, was not <laughs> that was not the case, Ben. Dutch people are known for being very greedy. <laughs> That's true. Select so like opening up with cloak. I bet that's something you didn't know about my country, right? Well, I've seen you tip, so. Oh, really? You're <laughs> so you're actually going to say that I'm greedy? Okay, no. I'll never talk to you again. <laughs> no. Kevin is like the least greedy person on the planet. That's, that's totally unfair of me to say that. But sometimes he does leave bad tips. Before I taught him how to tip. Now he's a good tipper. <laughs> yeah. in lowering those depots. Try to trick selecting the... Try Ooh, look at Torsen, by the way, Ben. I love it. He's, uh, he's getting the fake upgrade. So just in case that Select is going to scout him. And Select's going to worry about Cloak Banshees. He doesn't actually have to worry about Cloak Banshees. Seems to be the Caduceus reactor. That's right. Research. Yeah, that's uh, Medivac Energy. It's just a fake. And uh, wow, Thorzen, I love what you're doing. Getting a Raven right away. Realizing that Select maybe up to some shenanigans he's yep. uh, hit the nail right on the head yeah select of course went cloak benches and look at the benches saying well Thorzen saw that right yeah but the problem now is that uh, Thorzen's got his expansion and select is 
No, but Select is expected was way later on so Antigua as well. It's going to be so hard for him to do damage, though. Well, seems as like these two yep. players had a pulse. As we already mentioned before, the best of three started. This was not a live best of three. Yep, it was a uh, replay. Or this is a replay. The yeah. game was played, uh, I believe it was earlier today. Oh. It's very fresh. Uh, so select this cloak is ready right now, but we see the cloak bench coming in just at the same moment. The raven pops out as well. So how effective is this cloak going to be? The bench takes so much damage. Beautiful defense so far by the uh, Torzain. Yeah, but good job uh, by select keeping this banshee alive for as long as possible. Might be able to get a couple more SCV kills as the Marines are out of position. One SCV falls. Two, three. Yeah. Up, up. Come on. Three. He oh, could so take one more. Kills. He could take oh. one more. Be great. He shoots a supply depot. Ooh. Both players uh, apparently suffered some lag in this series. That's of course always sad and can see, but fortunately for us, uh, so far the game is being uh, played out. Yep. And everything seems to be fine. 53 supply for Thorzane, 51 for Select, who's just going to try to end it here with a big one base push, a little 1 1 1 action. Uh, he went. Mm, that's uh, crazy. He added a lot of additional Rexes, so this is pretty much everything or nothing for Select. He's not pulling as a VG yet, though. Yeah, which um, is maybe a little bit silly if you're going to go... He doesn't have Siege, man. Select does not have Siege. He's making an un-Siege push. While Siege is almost ready for Torzen, we see a bunker over here as well. I don't see this going wrong oh, for Torzen. Now Select starts Siege, so mm. it looks like he had forgotten it. This could be a catastrophic... I, mean, I think he should just cancel it, yeah. send his SCVs and go. But I don't, oh, there's so many Marines out for Thorazine. I don't know if it would make a difference. And Thorazine knows that he's in great shape as long as he doesn't get all in. He is going to get all in, but then he still might be in good shape because all he has to worry about is one more final go. So like, uh, Thorazine wants more. I love it, Ben. Just sending out a few Marines, confirming that what he thinks is happening is actually happening. I love that. That marks a truly really good player. Yeah, I wish that Select would continue with the Banshee Harass, though. As, uh, we've seen Thorazine's pulled all of his units to the front. He's committing to defending this push. Uh, the Banshee in the back could be pretty brutal. Torzen right now at 38 SCV, Select still at 28. Mm -hmm. We have enough energy for a point defense throw as well, so that could help out a lot too, just to keep that one Viking alive. Yeah, yeah, uh, one Viking one with PDD Viking. will probably be able to trade pretty effectively against the Vikings of Select. So what now. if Select so landed the Viking yeah. next to the tank on the high ground? I don't think Select can do anything, man. It's 40 army supply against 39. Every second that Select's away, there's a second that's not working in his favor because Torzin is mining so much more. The PDD did just go down, and uh, because it's most likely going to be a long-term PDD, it will even be extra useful because we can already see it regenerating energy pretty quick. Finally, Siege finishes up for Select, but... Um Thorzane just has air supremacy right now yeah. with the point defense drone, with the three Vikings. Man, PDD is so good in a situation like this. It's yeah. insane how good it is. I incredibly, incredibly helpful. Mm. Vikings are going to try to come forward once more, but PDD again shuts them down. Oh, finally a shot goes off. But this is like Select is not actually putting some actual pressure on Thorzane. Select is still one base. Thorzane right now, Ben, is on 47 SCVs. That means that he can basically pull 27 SCVs and still come out even in the fight. Uh. And Nice. Well, actually, Select will finally win this little Viking skirmish, yeah. uh, but there's so little chance of him breaking the front. He, he is has trying already to more army supply, man, and he can lose 20 SCVs. He has more army supply, and he's able to lose uh, up to 20 SCVs. Uh, yeah, Select's still trying to persist with this aggression, it's but he's taking tank shots. Work. I mean, look at the beautiful positioning of Tours, and he's already sieged up. He has that bunker over here. Just now, Select is going to fall back. He did build a command set. He should build one more, at least. Uh, he has the money for it, so he might as well... Uh, I don't think it's going to wor uh, work, man, but he has to try to do something. And yeah. just with a single base, you're not going to come back into you're this right. game. right. He's not going to come back by just being like, okay, I'll expand now. He's going to have to double expand. Um, and uh, again, his macro slipped in the midst of that. Uh, so perhaps because of that, he could yeah. afford to double expo. I just think that Select completely uh, lost everything that, he's, uh, that, he, that he had planned for this game after he forgot Siege. I think that just completely threw him off his game and he had no idea what was happening anymore. I also feel a little bit that he just lost the Build Order War. Uh, because Thorzane was so well prepared yeah, for, for what came out. Of course, that is super important. When you open up Cloak Banshee and you're just only able to kill two, three SUVs, uh, that's just often not worth it. And look at Thorzane right now, researching cloaking uh, fields. So he's going to try to go for Cloak Banshees himself. Where is that stock? Right over here in the left bottom side. going to be hard for Cloak Banshees to do a whole lot, though. Select does already have turrets up in his main base. Yeah, I think more against drops than against Banshees, but it works against both, of course. Yep. Um, right now, Thorzane dancing around the map a little bit. Select is controlling the center. And yeah. uh, we've seen this on Shakurus a lot of times. If you can control the center, even if you don't have the same size army, 
uh, you can uh, you can you can really buy yourself a lot of time. What I'm just worried about, Ben, is that Select doesn't have enough Vikings to really hold the middle, and Torzin doesn't have to wait for super late game. He can drop the point defense room once more, and Torzin can take one or two shots from those siege tanks, and he will still be able to come out victorious in the fight. And Select forced to retreat back into his natural uh, because. I'm sorry, Select were forced to retreat back because Thorzane's army is just so much bigger. Tough spot to be in for uh, for Dignitas Select. Even though these two Marines on the tower are, are bosses. They had a bit of a skirmish, but they won. Yeah. Oh, one HP Marine, man. Even on his old day, he can't catch a break. Not going to win the last fight. I mean, reinforcement's not going to get it done either. No, Thorzane is it's just been so far ahead throughout this entire game. Uh, it seems like he's gonna just try to stay in. I'm not sure. He doesn't have to do this, of course. I mean, I can't blame Torzin for playing the way that he does, Ben. He's called the Spoon Terran in this way, in but on this moment, it just makes complete sense. He's so far ahead, he's still gonna try to make something happen. Like he's gonna absorb some turret shots, and even PDD being used there wow, for these turrets. So that looks actually moves. really cool. Yeah. One of the cooler looking things is kind of like Ghost Snipe, just the coolest yeah. sound and point defense turn, the coolest graphic. Shooting down those, those missiles. Uh, Select trying to come and muster a defense. Whoa, Vikings in a terrible Vikings. position. That's a painful loss for Thorzain. Six, seven, eight Vikings, man. Look, oh, look at those two Marines. What is what is going on here? <laughs> Miss Rally of the I century. got this, guys. Split. You, you, okay, well, we stay over here on the low ground. You guys come into the front. Are you sure that's <laughs> safe? Yeah, it's safe. Just go, man. All right. Go for the sneak attack. <laughs> Just go behind them. And they did somehow pass through two tanks in the bunker. That's <laughs> like a Billy sneak attack. Mm, He's like not fooling anybody. Those two Marines were Metal Gear Solid and Solid the Snake. The yeah. like, hey guys, why is your uniform blue? Or uh, uh, Splinter Cell, I meant. Solid yeah. Snake and Metal Gear Solid is the same stuff. It's like the cardboard box disguise. <laughs> <laughs> you go like running up the ramp. Couple of Marines rallied over here. I mean, Torzen just puts out. This kind of reminds me of uh, the Dream Act final band between uh, Fold and Torzen on Shakuras, where Torzen had this sort of contain on Fold. It was an exact identical scenario, and Torzen just kept expanding, and uh, Fold was basically forced to mine out of his two bases and then just go for it. Uh, but yeah, needless to say, that did not go very well. Yeah, Thorzen just an option to throw down the hard contain. Yeah, and while he has taken his own third, this is brutal, brutal spot to be in if you're select. He's behind in every possible way. Ooh, select. Mm -hmm. The last thing he could have used was misrallying a couple mm -hmm. of rest, uh, doesn't help. Marines gonna end up losing quite a few Marines right there. Cloak Banshee gonna go check out the main base. Select's got quite a few tanks, Kev. He's got more tanks than Thorzane, in fact. Yeah, he has eight tanks, but Thorzane has double the amount of Marines, and I'd rather have one tank less for 25 Marines more. Uh, Fancy also gonna get shot down. Yeah, and right now it doesn't really hurt Torzen anymore to use his scans now. I like this a lot by Torzen. He's gonna pick up these siege tanks from Select over here on the high ground. And Ooh. I think these tanks actually cover uh, this area. Ooh, that's so well done. Ah, gonna be close. Scan yeah. goes down. Wow, beautiful control by Torzen. Yeah, really, really top notch. Uh, no SCVs with this push, so we can't repair those Banshees, but. Look, <laughs> look at the minimum, man. <laughs> you don't see it? No. <laughs> 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 Awesome. They're kind of uneven though. <laughs> a little <laughs> lopsided. Need a little surgery. <laughs> Do we have a plastic surgeon in the house? <laughs> Scan going down on either side. Not like, uh, never mind. Never mind. I'm what do you want to say? Nothing. I was just talking about the missile turret guy again. Yeah, yeah, liar. We see a Torin production for Torzin as well. Torzin just having this absolutely brutal contain on Select, and there's really not much else. I mean, neither player can do much. I mean, Torzin could potentially roll in, but he could give away a sure win. And this is a super important best of three for Torzin. He's 3 2 right now in this. No, he's actually 3 3 in the season. If he wins this band, he has a great day. He went from 2 3 to 4 3, yeah. and suddenly all the playoff dreams are still alive. And he's actually a serious contender for one of the top spots in this division. Yeah. Also, a $300 day means he can go buy some new shoes. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty expensive shoes, man. Still being used, Select trying to pick up those benches with one. This is so smart by Torsen, man. Like, these tanks are covering this little area. So these Marines can't really get there and try to pick up those benches. Yeah, like Thorzane really doing this well. There's now only a single tank covering this ramp, so if Thorzane was going to go, now would be the time to do it. Uh, looks like Select's going to try a, a big drop back in the... Back in the main base of Thorzane, maybe yeah. 16 Marines, but Thorzane's even ready for that, man. Look back at his main. A doom drop, man. Yeah. There are units in position. Thorzane is king of these situations, man. Would you call this spooning, man? He's invincible. Invincible. 
Toilet is still 60 supply ahead. Army supply is around 50 ahead. Scans going down. I mean, I like Stalag's fighting spirit though, but I just don't see a way that he's ever going to be able to win this game. Look at Torz, and he's even dropping the fusion core, so you might actually see some better cruisers. A skirmish at the bottom half of the map. Select's going to win that fight, but only until Thorzen can back Whoa. up to his tank line. Uh, Medivac's going to take a lot of damage. Oh, those are so fast. What if he could run wow. faster than an airplane? Yeah. Man, I want those rocks. <laughs> <laughs> if you take this, you outrun Usain Bolt. Well, sounds like a plan. And give me a gun, too. <laughs> I'll be the best soldier ever. <laughs> 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 Man, imagine if like... Or the a best criminal. Yeah. Give me your money, take it, and then like run away. And the cops yeah. are like chasing you in their car and you're going faster <laughs> than them. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a gun. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> just shooting at the, at the cars. The cars are like trying to speed up in the highway. Like you see one of those like uh, American chases, you know, with the helicopter. And you like outrun the helicopter spotlight and the car. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, it's a superhuman. You run really fast, jump up, grab the helicopter, and like swing onto a building. <laughs> And then you just like go to your office and you like put your tie correct. All right, hello guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the North American Star League. Then your boss walks in and is like, oh, good to see that you're on time today, but why is there a machine gun on your desk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no worries, well, I was not planning to use that anymore. Why are you here early today, Kev? <laughs> ah, stim pack. Long story, man. Select uh, did go through the rocks, man. He's going to try to make something happen over here, but Doors is just an overwhelming amount of forces everywhere. He's going to be able to take this out with ease as well. You can even see the Doors joining in. Yep. Thor's here. Not all that necessary. We might see Thorzen actually doing some drops this now. This is such a frustrating game for Select, though, because yeah. he wants to do something. He's trying so hard to make something happen, but Thorzen just has absolute map control. He's everywhere. He has both Sun Naga Watch Towers, has a unit over here, has Sensor Tower, uh, has regions of these mining bases over yeah, here. He just senses these drops. I think maybe the medevacs flew over the two Marines. Yeah, yeah. At the yeah uh, this Marine shot at it. Yeah. As we can see, this medevac took a little bit of damage. And uh, Thorzen is here once again. Sees everything. How frustrating is this when you're playing as a player that's just on top of your every move? Yeah, but in a situation like this, I mean, Torzen right now starts even researching nukes, and we do see the first battlecruiser in production as well. Um, I admire yeah. Select's fighting spirit, but I just don't think it's going to be enough to scale. Wow, Thorzen. High ground Marines. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's so cool. Two It'd be kind of fun to be up there, like on that hill, it's just like, like shooting a fish in a barrel. Man, I missed the old Shikuras. We had like the Roxy. Oh yeah, that was very balanced. <laughs> Man, actually for Zerk it wasn't that bad. W what? <laughs> what? It Are you kidding me? What against Protoss? Yeah, pr it's don't never even, good for a Protoss to talk to me right now. Why would that be good for Protoss? Because Protoss can just expand here and then walk here. And yeah, no, but if it's no way that you can do anything about no, it. No, but I mean, if it's force cross. Um, no, never good. There's a nuke falling somewhere. Though it's at the front, so this is how. Uh, Select's gonna break in. Sucks to be that medevac. I mean, of course, if you b like spawn right bottom, Ooh. left bottom, it was very good for Protoss. Like, the two bays were very hard to stop. Wow. But, like, if you go Forge Expand and the player is cross, you have to worry about the rocks as well, which wasn't good for Protoss. Towards in seizing up right now, Select's gonna try to make something happen, but he just yeah. loses everything straight away. Select calls GG, well played. And Towards in, Ben, has a big day in the NESL. Yeah, wins two games, moves him up into, uh... You know, one of the uh, top three, top four yeah, in the division. He will be vying for third place, depending on the result of Lowly versus Alicia. Uh, a win there, and uh, Thorzane is. If Lowly beats Alicia, then Thorzane's in much better positions.